Yeah. Man, what's going on? We're here in Jacksonville, Florida. At the tiny pea lot. We got to pick up eight miles down the road. Not bad. And it actually delivers over in Lakeland tomorrow. So we can get loaded and we can be home this afternoon. Good deal on our part. But, uh, yeah, I had a. Didn't, didn't know what to do. We went inside to get coffee. And uh, they had the bean to cup and Dunkin' Donuts. Not really sure what to do, so we got the uh, we got the Dunkin' Donuts hidden in the pilot cup coffee. <laughs> and we got some bean to cup in here for a little bit later. This will stay warmer. This will go. Oh, this bean cup. Oh, it smells so good. So that'll stay a little bit warm. Right now we got Dunkin' Donuts. Mm-hmm. You know, get coffeeed up and drive eight miles and get loaded. <laughs> when we go outside, we gotta do our pre-trip and everything. Get rolling. Hopefully we're going to have a good day today, short day today, at that. Alright, alright. Leaving the little pea lot. Continue on to Parkway. The Jacksonville Zoo is just five miles up the road. <laughs> just watching a little other Trucker James Best live feed. I missed it. I missed it. I know. We're going to watch the replay today while we're getting loaded. Uh-oh. Cruise parking. Oh, there it is. Oh, no ship in the port. No, nothing yet. Nothing today. I was kind of concerned about this place where I got to go pick up. You know, you look at you ever look at the Google reviews of places you go? There is very little positive comments. And the comments that were there that were positive, I think they were they were from the people that worked there. Some of the drivers that were talking about wait times one guy said if you're up for taking your 10 hour break and fighting for detention this is the place to come to all right yeah I don't want no detention today you can keep that junk So we got the port over here, Jacksonville port, a lot of trucks coming in and out of here, you know, containers and stuff, just like where I was at last night at that little pea lot, it was, uh, it seemed like it was all local guys where they can keep their truck for the night. You know, the oil, oil and fuel. Uh, what do they call those things? Crap! I forgot. So well, basically, they come off the port, unload, and they load them in here. Then there's a guy over there picks it up. Then he delivers. 
holding tanks or something. I can't remember. We just gotta get up, jump on 95 just for a short bit. Get to our shipper. We'll check in here a little bit. Five minutes before my appointment and loaded yeah. loaded in like 45 minutes actually good stuff I don't know what's up with all those reviews saying I was gonna be there for eight to ten hours I wasn't even there an hour man we'll be home in no time we're up here on the 301 like we came from I-10 West and you take 301 back down all these little towns and stuff, and uh, they'll take you to uh, 75 South. Then it's 75 South the rest of the way. They're doing a lot of construction over here, which is good because it's been needed. Listen to the Pale Rider live feed. Early Friday BS session. Looks like he got some got an extra pallet on his truck that the customer didn't want. So he's waiting to figure out, see what happens, man. That sucks. About 130 miles from the house. I'm gonna stop at the Petro in Ocala and get a little bit of fuel. And we'll be good to go. All right. stuff. Light load, light load, man. It was loaded to the door, man, but I got scared. And I got the bills and they said it was only 7,700 pounds. Good stuff. Fun, fun. <laughs> oh, how many times any trucker said that? That's trucking. Damn. But we gotta get down 301. This is gonna take a little while. Seventy-five south. Not good. Not good. Been creeping along here for a little while. Probably, probably about an hour now. One time, at one point we sat here for about 20 minutes, just sitting. Obviously there's an accident up here. sure where but uh the uh I've seen one of those trucks just go by one of 
of those 24 hour response spill agency or something like that. So I wonder if this load, if it was this load, I wonder if there was a truck that overturned and spilled. If it was like a hazmat load and obviously they'd be trying to reroute or if it's going to be something harmful to the environment, then it's going to take them a while to get cleaned up. Not cool. 101 miles from the house. <laughs> and at least I still got 8 hours and 20 minutes of drive time. We're at mile marker 380. And I got to get to the Petro and get a little bit of fuel. That's exit 368. So It looks like it clears up you know, before the Petro, so. Or, that's what the Google map says anyway. Yeah, who, who knows? Who knows? And my radio is still not working. I changed the coax and it still ain't working, so. It's obviously the antenna or the radio, so. But I don't know Obviously they got lanes shut down, but I don't know which one, so. I gotta be that guy. Wait till I get up, get up there. check in here just a little while we'll know what's going on dang hey we ain't gonna let me over maybe if I use my turn signal <laughs> here well, two heavy wreckers that ain't good oh, this truck's all mangled up Emergency response team. Oh, dang. Yikes. He's in the water. Wow. Wow. Hope they made it out, driver. Man. to our exit home. From here, it's about another 20 miles. Yeah. 
Yeah, since I came home with the load, you know, I can't take the load home, so. There's a, uh, like a secure drop lot. About, I don't know, six, seven miles from the house. So I can drop the trailer, put my padlock on it, kingpin lock, all that good jazz. But I gotta deliver tomorrow in Lakeland at 7 p.m. Then uh, we'll leave the house about five-ish, run there somewhere. Won't be too bad getting over there. Maybe doing construction over here for golly forever. Seems like every time I come home, there's like less, less barrels here. <laughs> so that's a good thing. The cop hiding back there. Man, you're sneaky. I see you. I see you. Come on. There we go. Yeah. Highway 50. You go the opposite way. Take you to Orlando. Not today. <laughs> you guys already see this Father's Day will have already come and gone hope you guys had a good Father's Day this guy sure did guarantee that this time like I said my daughter was with me for a while and that was awesome like all the way up into Michigan like way up Michigan like almost to Canada we went to uh, I don't think she got to make it to Texas we went like Oklahoma area and around and that was fun she enjoyed that but my youngest she'll be coming out with me when we go back out so she's already She's probably got her stuff packed already. <laughs> she's been waiting. She's on summer vacation now, so she's been waiting. So who knows how long she'll get out until she gets bored. <laughs> you guys watching thanks for everyone that jumped in the live feed <laughs> the Blackbeard hangout live that was good stuff it was fun maybe next live feed won't be that far like last live feed was whew, man that was a while maybe we'll try to do more of these so pretty cool enjoy them All right, let's get out of here. Talk to you guys next time. Later.